Hi, this is John from Flat Cat Gear. We spend a lot of time validating our products. This is a new product we're working on. This is an Epicurean stove. It's made out of stainless steel. We do tons of baking to qualify different, different products, and this one's no different. Uh, so today, I'm going to be uh, baking a muffin. So if you've been following my site for a while, hopefully uh, you've been baking bread on your own. Now bread is great. It's really nice to have a fresh loaf of bread on the trail. But bread can get a little bit boring, so you need to add things to make it interesting. So today we're going to make a monkey bread. Now most monkey breads are uh, on the sweet side. There's a whole series of monkey breads that are on the savory side, and that's what we're going to do. Now when you're backpacking, another thing that's interesting is when you go up in altitude, your taste buds change. And because of this, you have to make food extra spicy. For example, on airplanes, airplanes foods, uh, because you're up at 8,000, pressurized to 8,000 feet, is a lot spicier. If you had the same meal down at sea level, uh, you wouldn't believe the difference. So we're going to make a pull apart monkey bread on the savory side. Let me bring the camera in here and let's get started. <coughs> All right, this is regular bisquick dough, and I use nindo powder. And one of the things you do, you want to uh, mix it, just to add enough water uh, to mix it together. You want it on the dry side. Um, you don't want to get your hands all sticky. So what I'm going to do is form a little ball, stuff cheese on the inside. Now the reason I'm doing that is if you have cheese on the outside, it'll stick to the pan. So this is it's a little bit more work up front, but it'll make the cleanup much nicer. Besides, when you get one of these, you get a little cheese ball in there. Now we come to the fun part. So I just, dry spices are great for backpacking because they don't take up any weight. So I've got some uh, rosemary, fresh out of my garden, uh, crushed red peppers, those are onion flakes, black sesame seeds, fennel, and Himalayan sea salt. So what's gonna separate these is just having some things, uh, th these balls are having something in between. So we're gonna take some of these Let's go try baking this, see how it comes out. We're going to be baking in a um, MSR Titan kettle. Uh, it's one of my new favorite uh, baking kits, it's a nice little compact system. Uh, again, we're testing out the new um, Epicurean stove. Uh, let me show you a couple of tricks here. So the latest editions, Epicureans all have um, handles, metal handles. So one of the nice things about the handle is you can use the handle to clean off the base. You have to make sure that all the residuals are, are gone and clear. So it's kind of nice to be able to do that. The second thing is opening up these Esbit tablets. Use the edge there to pop it open. There you go. Good. All right, we'll come back in about 30 minutes. It's been about 35 minutes. I think the dough, yeah, the dough hit the lid, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like it's baked, so let's bring it inside. Take a look at it. So mug systems bake better, uh, faster anyway. Uh, my fault, I overstuffed it. Uh, one of the big things, fun things about baking is you got all that anticipation. Uh, you've been smelling it, you know it takes about 30 to 40 minutes to bake something. You're hungry, you smell it in the air. 
and finally you get around to eating it and you get the big reveal. You pop your goods out of the oven. You get a lot of oohs and ahs. Now all this I was doing was basically a, um, a biscuit recipe. I just added spices on the outside so it's pretty darn easy to make. If you can make a biscuit, you can make this. There we go. So there we have our savory monkey bread. Now, what will happen is, is when you start pulling this apart, maybe you can see it now. You can see you've got the different seeds and the, you can really smell the uh, oregano from here. Start pulling apart. You get to see the insides. All the cheese is melted out. I think I need to let this cool a little bit longer first. Up and up. Yeah, you can pull off chunks. See the cheese and stuff embedded in there? You can tear this apart. So come visit us at www.flackhatgear.com. I'm going to eat this.